Hey, what's up everybody? Thought I'd make a big mess because I just learned that the Roborock S5 can come out and do a zone clean, which I knew it could do that, but I didn't realize you could tell it to clean two, three, or up to four times, I believe. So I made a pretty good sized mess that I would think most robots would not be able to clean on one pass. So I'm gonna send out the S5 on a three total clean run just for this little area. So let's see how it does. Hopefully this uh, gets all of it and it'll be a cool little test. Starting zone to clean up. All right, let's see how it does. This is the first time I sent it out for a zone cleanup. So we'll see if it does it three times or what. I'm not sure what it's doing right now.
And so it looks like it went around and knocked off the perimeter. Doing a very good job, even with this large amount of cereal. Probably only have to do it two times. And as you can see, this thing's very good for getting over thresholds. Like it's very full. This is a perfect example of why they give you the option to run it two or three times. Say your child's eating a big bag of cereal and drops the whole thing. Um, obviously not many robots are gonna get it all in the first pass. So as you can see, I can pretty much guarantee the next pass all this is going to be gone and then i guess the third is for a massive mess so as you can hear the bin is pretty much completely full i'm assuming this thing's going to tell me to empty its bin we'll find out all right so now it's definitely going around for the second perimeter job and then it's going to go in and clean this inside Yeah, that bin is completely full. Does this thing have a, a bin full detection on it? I don't know. Do you guys know? If you do, throw it down in the comments. I would think it would. This thing has pretty much everything else. And it's obviously full because now it's missing everything. Looks like it's going around for the third cleanup now. Looks like it's going to do another perimeter. For the sake of this video, I'm going to pause it here. And when it gets done, I'll show you what it missed. And I'll let you know if this dirt bin tells me to empty it. I'm really going to be surprised if it doesn't. So I can tell it's very full. That's why it's missing a few, a few pieces. But maybe the third, third time it'll get the rest, but I don't think it's going to.
All right, guys, so I finally got it to air out. This is the first time it's ever aired on me, and I already know why. It's because the bin is full. Um, I did get a first alert saying to clean the air filter, but it, it kept going for about three or four more minutes, and now it says to check the rollers, basically the brush rollers. Um, since, like I said it before, it's already completely full, and I expected that. So it doesn't look like it has an empty bin warning. It's just going to air out in a different way then you know that you need to empty the bin. So let's check it out, as you can see. Very full. Dust bin is removed. Please so clean as you can the see, filter. all these extra pieces, they couldn't make their way up there because there just wasn't any room. So I'm gonna empty this bin and hit resume, and I think it's just gonna finish just fine. I mean, I absolutely expected I mean, look, look at that. It like, that's weird. It like, the suction was so powerful that I like caked it together. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so let me empty this guy. All right, so I emptied it out. And as you can see, that filter is very, very, very dirty. Um, I'm just gonna pop it in now and see if it'll finish, but I'll, I'll clean this filter later today. Definitely needs either a good cleaning or just a new filter. Dust bin installed. All right, let's see what happens if I hit this. Resuming zoned cleanup. Yeah, resuming zone cleanup, good. I've noticed some of the other robot vacuums if they air out and you have to, you know, reset it basically or tell it to clean by pushing that button, it'll mess it up and either it'll want to return to the dock or it'll just restart the entire job. So as you can see, it's easily going to finish the job. Um, so I guess in this case, it needed the three passes to do it. But I think it could have done it in a two if that bin wasn't so full. Gotta say, this is still my favorite robot. However, the uh, Roomba i7 is really close to it. Uh, that self-emptying bin really, really helps out the i7. All right, it looks like overall it's gonna be missing a few pieces. Um, it was just a giant mess that filled up the dust bin really quickly. I wish it had a setting to tell you to empty the dustbin before it's way too full. Um, there we go. And this thing will just head right back to the dock with no issues. I'm gonna have to do a navigation test on this. Have it come out and clean a, a, a far away area. And while it's cleaning, have it set up a whole bunch of obstacles to go around and find its way back to the dock. And I know it'll do it with no issues, but it'd be a cool little test. I know the camera based systems would have issues. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, the zone clean is a cool new feature that, you know, I knew it could zone clean, but now I didn't know it could triple clean. Um, it did miss some, but because it flicked around to a spot that it can't reach it with the brush. And then there's definitely some crumbs on this threshold, but I don't think any robot would do a good job getting that out. So overall, it, it did good. Um, a couple of tiny crumbs, that's it. I mean, that was a lot of cereal. So once again, I'm happy with the S5. And uh, please like and subscribe.
Just the way I like Maybe I could